this is Drosor Venusta. This is the Cosa Collis form that you're seeing here. And I've pretty much neglected this species for the past year and a half. I haven't fed it at all. But it still has remained about this size. If you feed it regularly, it can get much larger. And I've had a plant that almost had leaves up to two inches long, which is pretty incredible. The ones that you see here compared to a quarter, they're about a half inch or a little uh, longer than a half inch. So they can get much, much larger than this. I received this plant about three years ago from another grower at a carnivorous plant gathering, and I have since been able to divide uh, my original mother plant and have produced about 20 plants from that original um, plant via root cuttings. Very easy to take root cuttings from this plant, especially when you have a larger specimen. I have mostly traded away the others um, just to get new species and expand my own collection and to give them away as well. Drosera nesta is very heat tolerant but in my case I've noticed that it actually prefers cooler conditions and um, it might usually only hold on to two leaves or a little more in, in warm conditions but at the moment it's producing four, well almost five pretty nice dew filled leaves and it's been uh, a very very nice sundew just kind of has stuck around in my collection since I first started so there you have it that's Drosser Vanesta